wrote it for me. What the fuck? And yeah, that's a great intro. What's going on, everybody? Jenny here. Welcome back to another great tutorial, guys. We have a new, new tool, the Demo Archive. Okay, little description on this Demo Archive. It's still a work in progress. There's some things that are going to change, like location of where demos will be hit, um, will be easily selectable, as well as, um, you know, how popular the demo is. But this is just a quick tutorial on how to use it in the stage that it's in currently. Um, so, you know, if you're ever listening to a really good song and you can just imagine, you know, the sweet snap of the DSR syncing to every single beat of this new song that you found and you as a COD editor or you as a visual effects artist needs just a six, six kill, boom, 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 demo frag you don't know where to find it and you want to easily find it, then, you know, this is going to be the tool to you, for you, to you, new to your life. Damn, that worked better than I thought it was. Um, anyways, new to your life. I will link his GitHub in the description. He's been working on a tool. He has stepped down from editing for a short amount of time to do good for the community instead of just spam subscribers on YouTube, like go from 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers in a blink of an eye. He's actually gone to make some tools and uh, he has made this demo archiver and uh, it's very interesting. So you're just gonna go to latest, you're gonna download the uh, this zip file. And in my case, I have it, where did I put it? Documents, um, here it is. Go ahead and just run the exe and allow this. If it doesn't launch, then go to your virus like you have to do because, you know, programmers in the COD community aren't sophisticated enough yet to get around this and then just turn your uh, real-time protection off so you can use the tool normally. So I really love how ugly it is. You know, it looks like we're in 2005, Windows 4 just came out and you know, you got this, you got these sick, you know, you got these sick, you know, user interfaces. But anyways, for now, BO2 is gonna be the nicest working one. This is just gonna be step one. Anyways, the way it works is like I said, you know, you have a song in your mind and you need to find, you know, something that's gonna work with your song. You have easily selectable ones. So by the way, everything on this left side is what's in here already so there's not too much but there's enough to get you know the gist of it and see how i've already hit the bottom actually i could be wrong on that i'm not sure if everything is in here but you know this is taking them a lot of time so uh it's cool to just have something so so, so simplistic um we i guess for now we can just say it's a a, a dsr only no i'm kidding i'm kidding anyways so the way it works is let me minimize this um let's go to the demo archive so there's there's how kind of it works down here so i use w instead of weapon in his examples he has um uh you know he has the player but it, it really doesn't matter um yeah the way you do this so for instance he says you know the number of kills in the demo and you know the person who's doing it so i'm assuming fax the editor is the one that hit this and then you would be able to tell by the you know the frags on the bottom you know the camo that you're looking for attachments you know it's gonna get super oh there he's finally responding okay okay so what he's responding to is a question that i asked specifically so you know you're watching it'd be really nice to be able to do this we're not sure if he's gonna do it. i mean he, he might do this but anyways um, it'd be really nice to be like, oh, this is on Nuketown. It looks like it's, you know, whatever, a 4K, 5K, 6K, you know, and then be able to type that in. So here's the example. So we know the weapon is a DSR and see it automatically filters out. Now we're only dealing with the DSRs. He's on the map, Nuketown. So now we're only dealing with Nuketown maps and it just, that's not what it's for. It's really for 
right now it's for, you know, I need a ballista frag, weapon, W, colon, ballista, ballista, and I want it on the map. And let me see, uh, actually, let me do a more specific. Let's do, I need like a 3K, right? K, 3K, 3, maybe. Yeah, Ballista 3. And I want it on the map, Nuketown. M stands for map, nuke. Boom, you have your Nuketown 3Ks. It's literally already in here. It's it's literally an amazing tool. It's, it's crazy the fact that he's doing this and he makes it so easy. Here's all the tags, you know, see double clat. So that, that's, you know, your example when you use the tags. Timestamp of it, literally just click download and it takes it, boom, just pops it up on your screen. Actually, a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to like get this into your thing, uh, into your BO2. So you can go ahead and extract it, cut that. Let's, Blah, 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 I should be skipping all this, but I don't think I am. You know, you're gonna go to your BO2. Let's go to, I think it's plugins. Um, that, cloud, film MP, paste it in there. Delete that. Let's go open our BO2. And I'm, there might be a 3K over here now that I think about it. Th yeah, this is it. So you have this. This is the 3K that we were literally just looking at. And this is it. Maybe that wasn't, maybe, actually that was the one that we were just looking at. Anyways, yeah, but that's how you use it. Um, use these tags. And um, yeah, super cool tool by new. Uh, just remember it's a work in progress. And um, there's a lot of shit going on on it. But uh, yeah, I'll make an updated tutorial when the rest of it comes out.